Aiden, now you've made the leap to Formula One, no surprise to anyone who's been watching your career. How does it feel to be on the verge of getting behind the wheel for your first race? To be honest with you, Will, it hasn't really quite sunk in yet. The team has given me a fantastic opportunity. It's a once in a lifetime, a dream come true. So to answer your question, I feel like a little kid. I look around and I'm surrounded by my heroes, you know? I've even had to pinch myself a couple of times. So, yeah, it can be a bit overwhelming, but out on the track, the speed, the noise, even the smell, it's all the same. I just hope my driving is too. And what about Casper Ackerman? Are you intimidated at all having such a seasoned and experienced driver as your first teammate in Formula One? How's that relationship coming along? I've always looked up to Casper as someone to aspire to. Growing up as a kid, his pictures were all over my bedroom walls, you know? The dream was always to be Casper. But, as it turns out, I'll be racing alongside Casper, which is good enough for me. I get to learn from the best. Besides, every legend has to start somewhere, right? Aiden. Just wondering if we can get your reaction to the obvious comparisons that are being made between you and another F1 driver. Much like you, he made the transition from F2 to F1 last season. What do you say to the press here and to your fans who are calling you the new Devon Butler? <laughs> the new Devon Butler. I'm all right with that. Does that mean we could lose the old one? <laughs> You come over well. They like you. I don't know what you were worried about. Thanks. You know, everything's going to be fine out there today. I just know it. Just do what you did in F2. Easy. Thanks, Brian. I won't let you down. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and we're back here today with the Breaking Point series. Um, got an incoming call from Brian, we'll accept that in a second but we're back with the Breaking Point series. Last video, Aiden of course won, we're playing as him, won the F2 Championship uh, which was jolly good and you've just seen the press conferences, he's joined Alf Towery. And now that he's joined Alpha Tari, we're going to be getting into the first race of the 2020 season, which is, of course, the Melbourne Grand Prix in Australia. Let's accept the call in a second when it reappears going on and off the screen. Um, before we get into it, though, if you're enjoying the series, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. Now let's listen to Mum first here. Hello? Hello, love. How's it going? All right, Ma. Yeah, it's going all right. Just getting ready. I saw your interview. And? You need a haircut. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks, I guess. But aside from that, you were great. I'm so proud of you, Aiden. I know, Ma. Thanks. I wish I could be out there with you. This is everything you've worked towards. Yeah, I know, but you'll be at the next one. Just do what you do, and everything will be great. Thanks, Ma. And remember, mirror signal maneuver. And always stick to the speed limit. Great advice. I'm all over it. I know you are, love. I'll speak to you later. Good luck. Bye. That was a lovely little phone call there between him and his mum. And we'll listen to what Brian's got to say. As you can see on the screen there, we've got top headlines for you two world champion moves up hamilton set potential title tie that'll be interesting as we wait for brian's phone call to appear on the screen so you've got a lovely little area around here don't we as you can see oh, some nice fruit on there bottles of water for his alpha tari t-shirt and his helmet to the right there 
Love you to see everything here. We'll have a look in social while we wait for Brian. Got some messages on there. You got the hat there, charger for his phone, cable, off the tarry notebook. Very nice. Aiden Jackson has got 30.5k followers. I wish I had that. <laughs> um, from Devon Butler, big fan. We all guys, Matty. There we go then. Let's move back to the news. See if we're going to get the call from it. So it looks like he's uh, the team principals decided to abandon us, but we'll have a look over at the email. You've got Brian Doyle there. I tried calling, but I must have missed you. Right, yeah, that's what happens if you don't accept the call. That's interesting, isn't it? How they got that in behind it. Um, I just wanted to point out a few things that have been set up in your room. A few news feeds, social media, emails, it's all hooked up to the lot. I also think Francis sent you a little message. Then I suppose if you're reading this, you've probably already seen that. I'll see you before the race, Brian. We haven't actually seen that. We've also got something from Jeff Nelson. He's telling us about the weekend preview for the Australian Grand Prix. Tricky spots on the circuit, turn nuts, five and nine. I haven't been um, at Melbourne racing around here for quite a while. Um, keep my slow speed limit the pit lane. Take care, yeah, you don't want to be um, getting penalties. Don't cut turn 12 too much, yeah, that's a good idea. It's time to be found here if you keep your foot in, but yeah, it's using the several car and all that, yeah. You don't want a penalty. Casper Ackerman. I noticed that you left your paperwork over in the garage, so I handed it over to PA. Thank me later, and hey, good luck out there today. It's your first race. Let's see what we can do together. That's nice from Casper. And then Franz Tost. Great to have you on board. Hey, Aiden. The title says it all. Really pleased to have you with us, but then you know that already. Anything you need, just ask Brian. He's your license. Anything he tells you to do, just treat it like it comes from me. Looking forward to the season. I'll see you in the briefing. That's from Franz Tost. And then we move on. The final thing is, of course, the advance, where we can go to the next race. You've got your cinematic score history and rewards there. Move it to look around to Solibus area where I think it gets changed. There we have it. I think we'll go on to the next race now that we've had a look at all this. So let's get into it. A solid start, Aiden. Let's try and push it further. Copy that. Where's Casper? He's up ahead. Let's try and bring you two closer together. Here we are then, as Aiden Jackson in his F1 debut race at Australia in 2020. This is at the moment, and we've got to catch up to Casper Ackerman, and that is we've got to do that. By the end of lap 10, effectively. Behind us is Before lap seconds. 11 starts. So over the line, we need to quarter those six seconds up to our teammate. But first, we've got Daniel Ricciardo in the Renault to clear. Then a Williams and Kaspers a Haas. Just going to catch up to Ricciardo. We might be able to go for an overtake round here, actually. As we take a lot off that section here. But we actually get great acceleration out. Lots of momentum carried through. We're going to go for the overtake into this corner. We get it done. Nice move through there. Next up is going to be the Williams of George Russell. Casper is three places ahead of you right now. Well, I can certainly say Russell isn't flying. We're right onto him here. And we're on lap number seven towards the start of it. Russell is, of course, though, on the hards, I think. Yeah, he's on the hards. So he's going to be a little slower in terms of tyres, but he really isn't flying along here. And hopefully we can go for the overtake in the next DRS zone because we're just tiptoeing around him in a sense. And I am just trying to get close to him, but he's really, really quite slow. We might be able to go for the overtake now. If we have a look down the inside line as he just closes us out. What about the outside line then? Outside line. Outside line. Oh, nearly got messy there and we get the move done. We get the move done somehow and then take DRS for this straight. And that's going to help us along. And it's lovely to be reminiscing in these old F1 cars. You know, of course, you've got the Renault. That's not in anymore. The um, Racing Point. That's not in anymore. So it's really nice at the moment. to be in the old F1 cars. The old liveries. A bit of reminiscing to previous seasons. But now we're going pretty well. And we've got to catch up. So oh, look who it is. 
Devon Butler. We've got three laps, of course, to get to our teammate. On lap number eight here. And we're chasing down Devon Butler. He's in that Haas in front. P11. And then our teammate is P10. We need to just use a bit of RS to get close enough to Casper. To then be able to go for the overtake pretty soon. Can we get it now and then be able to push towards Ackerman? That's what we hope. That's what I'm hoping for at the moment. No, there's no way I was going to really make that dive bomb come off if I went for it. Pretty close. You can see behind Russell and Ricardo are battling. You're closing in on Casper now, Aiden. Good and, job. Ooh, we've gone for the move there. Wouldn't usually go for a move into that corner, but we've got it done. We take DRS for the straight. Now we've got Ackerman and Norris in front. We need to catch up to Ackerman pretty quickly. So it's going to be Casper is directly some ahead of you. quality laps now, isn't it, to try and get to him? We've got to reach him by the end of next lap, and we get a lovely chunk of DRS again. So he's not too far away from us, is our teammate, as we go locking up into there. And you can see that is, of course, the lovely target in front of us. And we are pretty much there. I can almost smell the engine fumes from the back of him. And we're, we're, we are within a second, as I can't get my words out now, of him. Seconds. And we can continue to try and catch back up to him. There's still plenty of time for more drama. There certainly is, Crofty. And these two have been fighting each other incredibly hard so far. They don't want to go tripping over each other, though, because Devon Butler is coming up from behind. He's on the attack, too. Aiden, Casper's not your priority. We need you to defend. It's OK. I've got this. Here comes Butler. Three abreast going into turn 11 on this car one. And it doesn't. Ackerman's off onto the verge of what looks like damage as well. Is he OK? It's Casper OK. He'll be fine. He's heading for the pits now. You just concentrate on the race. Well, there we have it. I think we're going to get fireworks tonight in the Alpha Towery garage. There will be Crofty for sure. Look, it was a late move from Devon Butler, but you never want to see two teammates make contact. And Ackerman will surely be seething at that one. Absolutely. And I'll tell you who else isn't going to be happy too. Aidan Jackson. Not how his F1 race debut should have gone. The damage appears to be minor. How's it feeling, Aidan? <laughs> yeah. Car's okay. Understood. See how well you can do out there. Copy. Well then, we caught up enough to um, Casper, our teammate, and then we had a rather dramatic incident there. I was quite surprised by that. A lovely dramatic incident. Three white generally doesn't go, and sadly our teammate ended up flying off losing his front wing and then Devon has got in front of us and now on lap number 10 out of 15 we've just got to literally finish the race that's um, literally all we've got to do it'd be nice if we could catch back up to Devon Butler in front of course because he is uh, only two seconds and then we could take some points at our first race in this story mode okay, for gap behind is breaking point. One seconds. But wow, what drama. I can't quite believe that happened. But Casper came off the worst of the three. Devon Butler sending it down the inside line. He went for it. Bit of a risky move and he's come off the best up into P10. Classic lucky Devon Butler. Here we are then finishing lap 11. It's been a decent lap and in front we are catching up to Devon Butler in that Haas and then of course somehow Lando Norris is just really close to us now I'm guessing he will have pitted before because he was like 20 seconds ahead of Casper and we've had all this mingling with the incident but we're right with Je with Devin Butler here and we might be able to get into the points which would be nice and and Casper behind he'll be looking to try and use those fresh tyres in a front wing to go and catch up to Daniel Ricciardo and all we've got to do is finish the race but we should be able to go for a move on Devon Butler as we nearly lose the car through there the gap behind us is 11.5 seconds 11.5 I think we'll be fine to Daniel Ricciardo and now Devon Butler here we go 
We have a look at him. Have a look at him. Into there and we're nice and clean. Don't go for an overtake. That could be risky. But now we're going to get DRS and we could try and send it this time. Is there enough space? Yes, there is. Plenty of space down the inside line. And we take a very respectable 11th place. I mean 10th place and Butler drops down to 11th. Now then on the penultimate lap, all we had to do was finish the race. And we seem to be doing a bit better than that because it's the second to last lap. And we are already past Butler. That happened earlier. And now we're trying to get past Lando Norris in front. Get it, get Aiden up into ninth, which would be... That's a very respectable position for your first race. But I definitely think there'll be some frustrated people in the debrief after the race, of course, with that massive incident. But here we go then, chasing down the McLaren of Lando Norris. He's up in ninth, and we are very close to him. We might be able to go for a move down the main straight if we can just hook up the final part of sector three here our tyres are getting a bit more worn on the front of course 30 percent we have two laps of fuel remaining quite even with tyre whereas down the main straight superior pace final lap. final lap of the race to norris in the mclaren we get that overtake done and now we can push a bit further forward definitely not going to be able to get any more people since it's the final lap but we should be able to Get a bit closer towards the tussling Lance Stroll and Alex Albon in front. Those two are having a great fight. Stroll stays ahead of Albon for now. Here we are to round out the final lap. Lewis Hamilton has won the Australian Grand Prix in 2020. In front, Albon and Stroll still glued to each other. Albon, though, has been unable to get that overtake we're gonna come home p9 in the points all right race over take care of the car on the way in great battles on the streets of melbourne today and they've taken a fantastic win what a start to the season this has been a fascinating race here in australia at the top teams as ever continue to push the boundaries of the sport and it'll be interesting to see how the new Alpha Tauri driver Aidan Jackson settles in, especially after that early incident involving his teammate. Well, we've certainly seen rivalries born from less. Suffice to say, if you came into the 2020 season hoping for a bit of drama, it looks like you won't be disappointed. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. Casper, listen, I don't know what happened out there. It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? Who was the idiot behind the wheel of your car, hmm? You're pathetic. You won't even admit when you made a mistake. I'm... How did they ever sign you? Oh, Butler. Um, Devon, I didn't see you there. Uh, what, like, out on the track today? You nearly took me out, mate. Look, I don't know what happened. You cut in, I swerved. Next thing I knew, Casper was out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mate, I was nothing to do with it. Whatever that was, that was all on you. Don't be trying to pass the blame, because you haven't settled in yet. Sorry to bear with us, one sec. No problem. You seem to find your feet quite quickly after you graduated from Formula 2. What advice would you give to Jackson in his first season? Well, stay out of my way mostly. <laughs> and uh, taking out your own teammate isn't something I would make a habit of. Almost ready, Aiden. We're just checking audio levels. Uh, sure. 
seriously. Yes. People might be wondering what on earth Alpha Dowry were thinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Thanks, Devin. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Aiden. Let's talk about that incident with your teammate. Brian. Talk to me. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Listen, what happened out there today? I had it all under control and then... Look, let's not go through all that now. We'll talk about it in the debrief. Right, yeah. I was actually talking about your little running with Casper and Butler over in the paddock. Oh, wow. News travels fast. The paddock talks, Aiden. Besides, I've got ears like the hawk. Listen, Butler's a clown. The man's ego is bigger than a... No, I've got nothing. Don't give it a second thought. Thanks, Brian. But Casper? <laughs> yes, yeah, so he can get a little hot-headed, especially after a race. But you have got to work with him. That manoeuvre today... Wasn't my fault, Brian. It probably cost us points. I'll level with you. A lot of people on the team are disappointed, Aiden, and I'll be saying as much to Casper. Now, learn from it and move on, but you can't let it happen again. I'll see you at the debrief. Well, a bit of an interesting phone call there. Pretty calm, considering that we ended up in a three-way battle and ended up taking out our teammate there, but, well, yeah. What an exciting start to Aiden Jackson's F1 career in the Breaking Point series. Team Tussle at Alpha Tauri. And Devon Butler's back at trackside. What a race there. Let's have a look at the social media bit. No denying good result for Jackson. Probably would have been better if he'd had avoided his teammate though. Ackerman must be furious. A great race. Well done. All and a respectable result for new driver Aiden Jackson. We all like a little drama. And then almost missed the end of the race as I couldn't take my eyes off the checkered flag. I knew they'd bring it back. There we go. I mean, what a race that was. Plenty of drama. And then, of course, if we head over to the emails, new one for Franz Doss. Aiden, great to see you bring in some points on your maiden F1 race. That's quite the achievement. Congratulations. I'll be going through it all, the briefing, but we obviously need to talk about the incident with Casper at turn 11. In a sense, your first race and nerves can get the best of anyone, but let's not forget that we're a team, right? And then, Saskia Mills, tomorrow's interview and photo shoot. We've got hair and makeup arriving at your hotel room at 9am sharp. I know you said you didn't need it, but the client insists. Then a car will be there at 10 to take you to your location. Wardrobe will meet you on site. I've seen some of the looks they want. Be open-minded, okay? I know I'm going on, but that's what a good PAs are for. I'll call you in the morning and see you there. There we go. That's from our personal assistant. And then, of course, the next thing is moving on to the next chapter. So what a start to his career. What a race. That was plenty of drama in it. Plenty of exciting overtakes. Great to be back in the 2020 F car, F1 cars. And also at Melbourne. I haven't done loads at Melbourne recently. So nice to be at that track. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you've enjoyed it and you want to see more again. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And I'm going to leave that there for today in the Breaking Point series. Thanks a lot for watching guys. And catch me next time.